You have a course or membership that you know can get people massive results. Like anyone who joins gives hugely positive feedback and their progress is clear to see. But maybe you're struggling to really gain traction and hit that breakthrough launch and scale your online business. Well, trust me, you're not alone. I've helped hundreds of online business owners who are in this exact position too. And the good news is there is a solution. So if you want to scale both your online business revenue and profitability while having the impact that you know you can, grab a pen and paper, a nice big coffee, and let's dive in. Now, what I'm going to bring to you today is the planning tool that I've used to deliver almost 60 launches. And this was a huge part of me building $1.5 million in annual recurring revenue from courses and membership. And it's now used by all my lead to launch clients too. I'm going to share the key phases of your launch and the key elements that you need to plan, create and deliver within each phase. And if you hang around to the very end, I'll share a very special bonus session where I uncover five tweaks that you can use to supercharge your launch planning for maximum results. Okay, let's kick off by looking at your launch planning tools. First, we have my own launch planning template. Think of this as your heads up display for your launch. Now I've built this in Excel. I always start my planning process in Excel because it helps me visually map out the elements and move things around quickly and easily. Yeah, sure, there's lots of software programs that can give you this view, but none of them are as flexible and convenient and as quick as Excel. So once we have the outline for the plan, I then move the project over into Asana for my detailed day-to-day -day project management. Now you can easily import project sections and actions from Excel into Asana. Some people love Trello, others love Microsoft Project, and you know, Monday is another tool that I've used. They all work and a lot depends on what you're used to, but I love Asana. And if you're really visual, you can connect Asana to a low cost um, online service called Instagant, which turns your Asana project into a Gantt chart view. And then you can build in estimated timelines for actions and task dependencies to really see your critical success path uh, through your launch. Now, this is especially useful when you are coordinating a larger team or when you are, you know, when launches become more complex. Now let's look at your launch planning timelines. Now I plan in 90 day cycles um, with the first day of a new cycle, 80 days before open cart or when you make the offer to join your launch. So that's what we can see up here, open cart minus 80 days. The reason being, I believe that as an online business owner, you should have four promotions a year. These don't need to be primary promotions. You might do two primary promotions, two secondary promotions. The primary promotions are for your signature product or membership. The secondary promotions could be for a front end membership or the program or a virtual event or even for a JV launch that you want to go all in on. Now, if you're just starting out, I encourage you know, my clients to go all out and launch their primary product or membership four times a year. Getting the reps in early you know, in play is extremely important to optimize your funnel, your launch copy, your campaigns and your offer. And I just love the quarterly promotion model because it gives you plenty of time to build your email list build trust with your new subscribers and work on optimizing your launch. Now, third, we're gonna jump in and look at our launch planning phases. So I'm gonna switch over now for a second, but we're gonna come back to the planner in a minute. 90 days breaks down into 13 weeks. Now, the first six weeks are what I call the build phase because your next launch starts the second your previous launch has finished. One of the big mistakes that I see people make is that they wander aimlessly between their launches. You have to plan your weekly content so it lines up your email list for your launch. Now included in this phase is your launch planning which will force you to be more strategic in the content you create. Every piece of content should be positioning you, your audience, your concepts, so that when it comes to your offer, people are punk, punk prime and ready to go. And speaking of positioning, if you're finding this video in any way useful, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It's the only way for me to know that this is truly valuable for you. And it also lets YouTube know that it's valuable, which will trigger it to show it to other people and help me grow my audience, which will make it easier for me to invest in producing lots more content just like this. And while we're here, make sure to drop down into the comments and let me know about an upcoming launch you're planning. If you, know, if you have any launch related questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Okay, back to planning your launch. Now, phase two is the awareness phase. This is where you, know, you build awareness of both the specific problems that you solve with your signature program and the opportunities that exist for people if they were to achieve the ultimate transformation that you know is possible for them. One of the best ways that you can do this is by sharing case studies and success stories. Depending on the format for your pre-launch, this phase can be two to two and a half weeks. During this period, I like to step up the frequency of my emails from once a week to twice a week. Now, phase three is the pre-launch phase. 
This is where you invite people to join your masterclass, your workshop, your challenge, your coaching week. Now, whatever phase or approach you want to use, um, you know, to describe your content, it's basically, you know, it, it, from a planning perspective, it's all the same. We need to identify the key components and then create our plan from there. So your pre-launch will normally be free, but does require registration. In some cases, for the likes of challenges or coaching weeks, you can charge a low ticket amount, traditionally seven to $47. The format of your pre-launch can range from a single piece of pre-recorded live content to a traditional three-part workshop, all the way to five and seven day challenges. Now, as a result, your pre-launch phase includes the registration delivery period, you know, will be from two to four weeks. Phase four is the launch phase. This is where you open up doors for your program or membership, make your offer and start welcoming new members. This phase can last anywhere from three days for a quick launch to five to six days for a standard launch. In this phase, we go all out emailing at least once a day and I encourage people to go live every day if possible. Now, phase five is the final phase and that's the onboarding phase. This is hugely important phase for long-term success of your business. And you know, it's so important that you create a wonderful experience for your members in that first seven to 14 day window. You should spend as much time working on your welcome sequence once somebody has purchased, you know, as you do on your pre-launch or your launch sequences. Okay, so now that we've looked at the launch planning phases, let's dive back into the planning the deliverables. So diving back into our plan in a little bit more detail, we can see that I've broken each day um, down into 10 sections, which is this part over here. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I see this document as your launch head up, head, heads up display. Part of how I use this planner is for my weekly and daily team meetings. Even if you don't have any team, these daily launch check-ins are absolutely essential. I wanna be able to see all the key date-driven actions on a day-by-day -day basis, but I also want to be able to see what's coming up on a week-by-week -week basis. That's why I love this Excel document for that. Now, finding this balance between micro and macro planning in the visual launch plan is essential because we don't want it to get too unwieldy, we don't have to have too much information, but we need to see just the right amount of information. There are 10 areas that I like to plot on this visual plan, which include number one, copy. So this is the drafting of all the copy for your lead generation and launch, your emails, your opt-in pages, ads, social posts, and offer pages. It's important that you have copy drafted well before it needs to go live so that you have an opportunity to review, proof, and optimize. The second one we see here, number two, is the lead magnet. This is everything related to the production, publication, and promotion of your lead generation lead magnet, when it needs to be created by, promotion deadlines, optimization, updates, new lead magnets, launching a mini front-end self-liquidating product. Number three is your PLC content. Here we include the date that registration for your masterclass opens and the delivery of each model module of your masterclass or workshop. Then number four, we have email. So this is for the delivery date for each and every email in your campaign. I plan and label each email to be sent during each phase of my 90 day plan. Now this is a great way of planning and building a cohesive, fully aligned email campaign, which you know gently eases yeah, your email subscribers from cold contact to raving fan and recurring long time customer. Number five is your funnel. This part is everything got to do with the design, development, um, integration, launch, optimization of your launch funnel. The opt-in pages, thank you pages, pre-launch video, live stream pages, your concierge page, opt-in analytics and tracking, offer page, checkout and payment integration, course and membership setup and onboarding. So every web page integration and step required for a member to move from prospect to lead to masterclass registration into paying customer and finally member. Number six is your Facebook ads. So this is the planning launch and optimization of your lead generation, pre-launch and offer promotions. So you'll have multiple layers of both top of funnel, cold targeting ads and middle of funnel retargeting ads for each promotion. Then we've got number seven, which is social. Okay. Now you definitely want to have drafted and schedule your social posts in advance. Yes, you want to sprinkle in reactive and in the moment posts, but trust me, when you're under pressure, social is the first thing to get dropped. I like to build out at least one social post per email. No need to get overly cute here, especially in the early days of launching. Use your email copy as the basis for your social posts. So then number eight, live stream and webinar. Going live in any format is one of the best ways to engage with your audience, even if your audience is small. 
So I like to start building momentum with my live streams during the awareness phase. During your open cart and offer phase, you wanna schedule in a number of live streams and webinar to make sure that you help people sitting on the fence to get off it. Open cart, this is where we schedule out our open cart and closed cart dates. You know, as this is a key part of the launch, I want to have these, you know, dates in constant focus throughout the planning and delivery process. Here you should schedule the in-launch bonuses and any special initiatives that we're going to undertake during the open card period. And finally then we have onboarding delivery. So, you know, we come to one of the most forgotten periods of a launch, which is the onboarding process. You need to have an email sequence drafted and scheduled well in advance of your open card date. Now, one thing that people often forget is that some people are going to sign up on day one of your launch. And if you have a five day open card, you can't leave these people sitting waiting until their launch is over for the next communication. Likewise, you can't send people critical onboarding information that people who don't register until number five are gonna get. So you have to think really carefully about these phase of your launch to ensure that you create a wow experience for your members and build you know, kind of all important momentum immediately so that they start getting results from day one. Okay, so now we're getting right down to setting the key dates for our launch. So let's jump back on screen. I always start with the open cart date. So I'm gonna scroll down here um, through, through our plan and come down to when we're gonna pick. So we can see here, this Thursday is our open cart day um, on, uh, you know, in this instance, the 18th of October. So I figure out the day I want to open my program for registration and start driving traffic to the offer page. That's really what your open cart day is. Now we have to be careful that this open cart period avoids any national holiday, industry holidays, known black spots like you know maybe school midterm or back to school, big competitor launches or anything else that's likely to have a negative impact on our launch results. We also want to pick what we think are the days of the week which we think are going to get the best results. For instance, I avoid cart close on a Friday or a Saturday. Likewise, I avoid open cart on a Saturday. So much of this is going to depend on whether you're B2B or you're B2C. Once we have our open cart date, then we can pick our closed cart date. So in this instance, our closed cart here is uh, we're going forward seven days from our open cart period. Now, you know, we'll normally be working in the range of three to six days. Some days, you know, sometimes it'll be a seven day open cart. But once we have that, then we can start working backwards. So if you're running a seed launch or a traditional three part workshop or maybe a live launch, or maybe you're going to run a five to seven day challenge or a coaching week. Now, I think live launches work best when they're three days in a row, just like we can see here where we have our PLC one delivered on a Monday, PLC two on the Tuesday and PLC three on the Wednesday. Um, and the traditional three part workshop will normally have a one to two day gap in between each module of the workshop. But the trend now is towards more compact launches with less gaps in our pre-launch phase. So once we've figured out when our pre-launches start, then we can work on our, you know, our, our, our pre-launch promotion phase. So we can see here that we have specific emails um, for our promotion of our masterclass. Um, which are gonna drive registrations. Now, as your launches grow and you establish a baseline of copy, the number of promotional emails sent during this phase will increase. For the purposes of this plan, I have two general promo emails and then a specific email for each one of PLC1, PLC2, and PLC3 um, as they're going to be delivered. Now, working backwards from our pre-launch promotion, we can then move into scheduling our awareness phase. So our awareness phase is covers these two weeks here. Um, and during our awareness phase, we're also gonna start building momentum on social by upping the frequency of our live streams. So that's definitely something that we want to start scheduling for our, our social. And if you notice in my plan, you can see this is where drafting of the email copy um, kind of begins to, to kick in and to get heavy. Now, in fact, I kick off my copy project 42 days in advance of OpenCart. This is to give us plenty of time to get all our emails and offers drafted well in advance and not leave us under massive pressure during key phases of our launch when we should be focused fully on engaging with our, uh, engaging with our launch audience, our launch participants. Okay, that's a lot to take in. 
Um, but if you're planning your launch, save this video and go back through it step by step. Now, at the start of this video, I promised a bonus session on five tweaks to supercharge your launch planning for maximum results. And if you bear with me, I'm gonna to get to that in just one second. But first, I want to summarize the five key planning elements that we've looked at today. So first, we looked at your launch planning tools. We then moved on, we looked at your launch planning timelines, and we looked at then the five launch planning phases and the 10 launch planning deliverable categories. Then to wrap up, we looked at our launch planning, so setting your key dates. Now this is the exact process that I follow for every launch I deliver or advise on. And having delivered just shy of 60 launches and advise on countless others, you know, here are five tips to supercharge your launch planning for maximum results. Number one, map out your launches a year in advance. Um, I brought you through a 90 day process. You should be mapping out your four promotions a year, at least a year in advance. This keeps you on track and focused. Now, you know, whether you strike gold or a launch flops, well, at least you have that plan there and you're committed to the long term. Number two, set yourself annual financial goals and then launch specific financial goals. Now, it's important to know what's on the line. Building an online business is tough. When we hit a hurdle, we need to know the reward you know, for, per for persevering is and what's potentially at stake. But when we set annual financial goals, hey, if we have one launch that doesn't work, we know we can make it up on a later launch. Number three, remember it's not just about your financial results. Now, I believe online businesses have an ability to impact the lives of those we serve in a way that few other businesses can. Connect to what your future potential clients will be missing out on if you stumbled or you didn't follow through on your plans to launch. I think this gives you much, much greater motivation. Tip number four, set yourself launch rewards. So take three levels of revenue, your target, a stretch target, and an outlandish target. Tie a specific award to each of your financial targets. The reward size should match the target level. So for the bigger ones, you're gonna get a bigger reward. And make them so exciting that you're willing to run through walls to hit that target, whether it be a weekend away in a posh hotel or a foreign city break. And if you hit the revenue target, make sure you do follow through and, and, and actually do it. Now, number five, keep your plan visible at all times. Your launch plan is core to developing your online business. Find a place in your office to hang your 90 day plan. Every morning, walk into your office and spend a minute or two reviewing your plan. Dedicate the first portion of your day to completing your launch tasks due for that day and to move your launch forward. Okay, so now that you know how to plan an online launch, you're probably gonna to want to take a deeper dive into the five phases of a launch. Um, you might also want to take a look at uh, you know, how to build recurring revenue in your business. So make sure you check out the videos on screen. If you haven't already done so, please do make sure, click that subscribe button, ring the bell, give me a thumb up. And even, you know, more importantly, please do scroll down and leave me a comment. Tell me, you know, what the next launch that you're working on, what your plans are. And if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. See you in the next video.